everyone, I am Daniela with SPK and Associates and I'm back with our VCAD video series. So far we have really covered it all from creating your VCAD instance to accessing it two different ways, stopping your machine, starting your machine, and now how to delete your VCAD instance or your VCAD machine. Uh, here I'm back on site our portal as you can likely guess. Uh, you will want to click on this delete button down here. Now you'll get this handy warning. Uh, it cannot be retrieved. You'll want to click yes. Again, this is the test instance I spun up just for our video series. So I'm not worried about losing anything here. And once you click OK, uh, you'll see the status changes to shutting down. This is great because as you can see here, you can spin up many instances, but they come with a fee. You may just want to keep things clean. Um, so this is a great way, quick and easy, to go ahead and shut down your, your unused instances. As you can see here, I've deleted another one uh, that shows right down here as deleted. And to recap uh, our entire series, it's very easy to use VCAD. And what's great about it is that it allows for collaboration. Two users can access the same instance at once. Um, you can use this on the go. You can uh, use the web browser inside your tablet, and you can also preload apps. So when a new user creates a new VCAD instance, they don't have to go through the tasks of installing SOLIDWORKS or installing AutoCAD or ANSYS or whichever program uh, your users are utilizing. Uh, similarly, you can have a few other preloads if you have users who only need SOLIDWORKS uh, that can be configured or if you have users who need access to a lot more applications that can also be configured. Uh, so please stay tuned for more videos and if there's any questions regarding VCAD, please let us know. Uh, thank you for watching.